Good afternoon. Welcome to this meeting of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Siting, and Maritime Uses. I'm Council Member Adrian Adams, the Chair of this Subcommittee. We are joined today by Council Members Ku and Matteo. Today we will be holding hearings and voting on two school site selections submitted by the New York City School Construction Authority pursuant to Section 1732 of the Public Authorities Law. The first hearing is on LU 287 for the site selection of a 432-seat primary school and a 231-seat 3K UPK facility at the former St. John Village Educational Campus in Community School District 31 in Minority Leader Steve Matteo's district in Staten Island. Our second hearing will be on LU-288 for the site selection of a new approximately 380-seat primary school facility on the site of the former St. Rosalia Church located at Block 5741, Lot 5, Community School District 20, and Council Member Menchaca's District in Brooklyn. I now open the public hearing on LU-287 and recognize Minority Leader Matteo to speak on this application. Thank you, Chair Adams. I am here today to speak in support of the proposed acquisition of the former St. Johnsville campus. For decades, the Sisters of St. John the Baptist ably performed the mission of education for Staten Island youth. Generations of students and teachers walked the halls of this venerable institution, and many Staten Islanders received an excellent education, which enabled them to go on to high school, college, and fulfilling careers. It is for that reason, as well as our desire to prevent further overdevelopment of Staten Island, that the borough president and I called for the city to acquire this property as an educational campus. Continuing to use the site for education not only provides much needed new classroom seats in the east shore of Staten Island, but it also allows for the site to be used in a way with minimal impacts to the surrounding neighborhood. Ultimately, that is what is so important to get right about this eventual project. The city is doing a great thing by maintaining the Villa campus as a school site, but we must make sure that we get all the details right. The kind of schools to be situated there, student transportation, the relationship with residential neighbors, an existing institution like the Geller House, and all the land use questions that arise with any project like this, such as building utilization and parking. Today's hearing only presents us with the question of whether we approve the acquisition of the site for schools. I have been assured that all the details are yet to be finalized and that the New York City School Construction Authority is committed to working with me and other stakeholders to ensure that a balanced final project is made a reality for this campus. That is why I'm here today in supporting the purchase of this very important site, and I will send it back to you, Chair Adams. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Minority Leader. We've been joined by Council Member Menchaca. I now call upon uh, the panel, Tammy Rachelson, Ben Goodman, Gail Mandano. Please step up. You are representing SCA of the School Construction Authority. Before you begin, counsel, will you please swear in the panel? Please state your names. Ben Goodman. Tammy Rachelson. Gail Mandaro. Do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony before the subcommittee and in response to council member questions? Yes. 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 You may begin. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, good morning, Chairperson Adams and council members. My name is Ben Goodman, and I'm a community relations manager for the School Construction Authority. Also with me is Gail Mandero, senior director and senior attorney for real estate services, and Tammy Rachelson, senior manager for project operations in real estate. The SCA has undertaken the site selection process for a new 432-seat primary school and 231-seat 3K UPK facility on Block 3087, Lot 1, and Block 3089, Lot 59 in the borough of Staten Island. The site contains a total of approximately 313,632 square feet of lot area on the former St. John's Villa Academy campus. The site is privately owned and is located within Staten Island Community School District No. 2 and Community School District No. 31. It is located within the Rochar neighborhood. Under the proposed project, the SCA plans to acquire the privately owned property and to renovate some of the existing buildings for, our for, for a 432 seat primary school and a 231 seat 3K UPK facility. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in the New York Post, Staten Island Advance, and the city record on September 17, 2018. Staten Island Community Board 2, Community Education Council 31, and the City Planning Commission were all notified of the site plan. CEC 31 held a hearing on September 17, 2018. 
Community Board 2 held a hearing on October 16th, 2018. The SCA has considered all comments received on the proposed site plan and affirms the site plan pursuant to Section 1731 of the Public Authorities Law. In accordance with Section 1732 of the PAL, the SCA submitted the proposed site plan to the Mayor and City Council by letter dated December 7th, 2018. We look forward to your subcommittee's favorable consideration of the proposed site plan and are prepared to answer questions from the committee. Thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony this morning. We want to note that uh, both of you spoke um, at both applications and that we will take care of uh, LU 287 first before moving to 288. Are there any more members or any members of the public that wish to testify on? Oh, sorry, Councilmember Matteo, question. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Adams. Uh, thank you all for uh, being here today and, and for your constant um, cooperation with myself and my office on all things SCA. Uh, it's appreciated. I just have a few questions uh, just, um, just to go over. What kind of capital work will be done uh, in, in the outset? To what buildings? I, I believe you. Um, um, we are currently planning to uh, rehabilitate the. Sorry. We're currently planning to rehabilitate the high school and the former elementary school uh, facilities for a PS and a UPK program at this time. And, and to use the gym building on the campus as well. And the gym building, and you're going to do uh, exactly what with the capital? You have to. You're tearing the whole thing down. You're you're existing. You're retrofitting. What are you? I believe the original plan, though not designed yet in any kind of formal way, is to try to rehab what we can at this time. Okay. And the uh, what is the plans for parking? Do we do we think we have sufficient? Being that it's a seven and uh, seven approximately seven point two acre campus, we do believe there'll be adequate parking. For for. The, the both schools that we have Correct. talking about. Okay, great. Um, so listen, I, I, we've spoken a lot. You've spoken to my staff. You know um, where I am. Obviously, I'm supportive of, of us um, starting this process. We want the borough president and I want SEA to take over this site as a school site. Um, I've spoken with the Department of Education as well. Um, you know, th they have committed to working with us on a final plan and here are our priorities and I just ask that SCA do the same thing and, and, and um, work with the bar president and I as we move forward. We intend to work with all affected stakeholders as we move forward in the design process. Well, um, so with that I send it back to you Chair Adams. Thank you very much Councilmember Matteo. And now are there any members of the public who wish to further comment on this item? Seeing none, LU 287 is now closed and I now open the public hearing on LU288 and recognize Councilmember Menchaca to speak on this application. Thank you, Chair, and I want to welcome the SCA back. Uh, I'm not a member of this committee, Chair, but uh, it seems like I'm here often uh, and for really great reasons. I want to say thank you so much for the work uh, that you've done on the team, on the SCA team, uh, in partnership with all the members of our, of our committee uh, community and make space for quality schools, for example, kind of springs to mind when I think about the, the energy that's going on on the ground. Um, this is an exciting moment for us in District 38 that encompasses a couple highly overcrowded school districts, 20 and 15. Uh, currently, we have about 30 public schools, but students are yet still feeling overcrowded and not getting the attention that they, they support uh, and, and support. Um, but that's changing. With SEA's help, uh, vision, focus, seven more schools are planned for the district and even more are in the pipeline, uh, including this one. These seven planned schools are bringing 3,000 more seats to the council district. And I want to acknowledge that there's been so much expertise and support and commitment of parents and you all working together, fighting with our kids. And our kids have been so vocal on the ground too. And I see them one day taking over SCA and taking over the city council, uh, already prepared to take on these challenges. Um, I also want to make sure that I say uh, that while the things are, are complicated on the ground, 
Um, what's never complicated is our commitment to education. So thank you so much, uh, and I look forward to hearing your, te your testimony today. Uh, I have one question after your testimony, but thank you so much for being here, and I really urge the committee to support. Thank you very much, Council Member Menchaca. Council will swear in Tamar Smith, SCA. Please state your name. Tamar Smith, School Construction Authority. Do you affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony before this committee and in response to council member questions? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Panel, you may begin. Good morning, Chairperson Adams and council members. My name is Tammy Rachelson, and I am Senior Manager for Project Operations in the New York City School Construction Authority's Real Estate Department. Also with me is Gail Mandaro, Senior Director and Senior Attorney for Real Estate Services, and Tamar Smith, Community Relations Manager. The SCA has undertaken the site selection process for a new approximately 380-seat seat primary school facility on Block 5741, Lot 5 in the Borough of Brooklyn. Site contains a total of approximately 20,900 square feet of lot area, on the former St. Rosalia Church property. Site is privately owned, unimproved, and it's located within Brooklyn Community District Number 11 and Community School District Number 20. It's located in the neighborhood of Bensonhurst, and under the proposed project, the SCA would acquire the property and construct a new approximately 300-seat primary seat facility. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in the New York Post and City Record on October 10th, 2018, at which time Community Education Council number 20, Brooklyn uh, Community Board 11, and the City Planning Commission were also notified of the site plan. On October 10th, the CEC and Community Board were asked to hold public hearings on the proposed site plan. Community Board 11 held a public hearing on November 7th and submitted comments. CEC 20 held a public hearing on November 8th. Written comments were not received from the CEC nor from the City Planning Commission. The SEA has considered all comments received on the proposed site plan and affirms the site plan pursuant to Section 1731 of the Public Authorities Law in accordance with Section 1732 of the PAL the SCA submitted the proposed site plan to the mayor and city council by letter dated December 7, 2018. We look forward to your subcommittee's favorable consideration of the proposed site plan and are prepared to answer questions from the committee. Thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony. Councilmember Menchak, questions? Yes, thank you, Chair. Um, the diocese has been a really great partner um, on many sites. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how the site became uh, a, a possible site. It, was that a communication from the diocese? Or did you kind of affirmatively ask the diocese for the site? How did that? How well, did that start? We have a very close relationship with the diocese. They we have about sixty leases with them. They are our largest uh, landlord, and we're their largest tenant. And we work very closely. We're in daily contact with them. And um, they sort of have their finger on the pulse of our needs, and we sort of have a finger on the pulse of, unfortunately, their schools that are, and properties that they no longer may need. So, um, you know, they know that District 20 has always been a, an area of high need, and um, they came to us and said that this property had been basically vacant for years because the two parish nearby parishes had merged and they said would we be interested and it, we took it from there thank you for that and you know I was I was talking offline with uh, councilmember Matteo about his site and and we were both um, comparing notes in some ways and these pro these projects the kind of conversions from the diocese, uh, to public schools often have some challenges. Do you, do you, did you see any challenges as you approach the building? The okay, this is, I, I just want, I'm sorry I was not clear. 
this is vacant land. It had not been. No, I, 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 under, oh, okay, I understand fine. that, but just more on the site itself, where it's located, any challenges that you can f kind of foresee uh, in just kind of a spirit of transparency. And there might not be any, but I think this is where I want to be, well, be we, we uh, clear. We had done a test fit um, to see, and we could fit a 380 seat school. Uh, primary school on the property. Um, we full disclosure will we will need to do a zoning override mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's in an M1 and we're also exceeding certain you know on bulk. Right. But other than that, we don't foresee any problems. Good, and like I said, you have my full support, Thank and we'll you. be back for all those approvals. Uh, and it's just again good to make sure that that every site is very different. Uh, the communities are different uh, and we don't want to feel like there's one solution and that in fact what we saw here was a real opportunity and um, uh, to address the overcrowded issue with community in hand in support uh, with kind of full um, full throttle support especially for me uh, okay I think that's it for me on, on questions thank you so much Thank you very much, Council Member. Thank you, panel. I, I just want to say, from for, for just a personal note here, it's always heartwarming for me to see schools go up um, in our city. It is, it is tremendous uh, to see these schools go up uh, throughout the city. Our children are in need. We've got so many locations that are overcrowded. Uh, we still have trailers on some locations. Uh, um, in our districts, and um, I, I just, you know, commend you for your uh, thoughtfulness and placement um, for these facilities, and um, we, we need to see more, as, as you know. So thank you very much for your testimony this afternoon. Thank, thank you. you. Are there any more members of the public who wish to testify on these items? Okay. Seeing none, the public hearing on LU-288 is now closed. Uh, we will go into recess briefly. We need a quorum to vote. Thank you.
Okay. In accordance with the affected council members' recommendations, we will now vote on both items. We will vote to approve LU-287 for a site selection of a 432-seat primary school and a 231-seat 3K UPK facility at the former St. John Village Educational Campus in Staten Island. We will also vote to approve LU-288, the site selection for a new approximately 380-seat primary school facility on the site of the former St. Rosalia Church in Brooklyn. I now call for a vote. Council? Adams. I vote aye. Who? Aye. Traeger. Uh, with congratulations to my colleague, Councilman Menchaca, who is helping address a crisis in terms of the needs for additional seats in District 20, which is one of the most overcrowded districts in New York City schools system, I, I vote aye. With a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions, the items are recommended for approval by the full Land Use Committee, and the vote is held open. Thank you very much. We'll hold the vote open for 10 minutes.